you will be mine. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Hey you guys, what is up? It's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so happy that you're here. So for today's video, what we are going to be doing is recreating slimes that I found on my Instagram suggested feed. You guys all know that little bit of Instagram that you go to to look at the occasional meme, maybe find something to laugh at. Well, since I make slime, mine is full of different slimes. So I thought it would be really cool to go in and pick some really, really cool ones and then try to recreate them for you guys. Last time I recreated created slimes that you had sent me photos for so I was recreating your slimes from photos and I have to say that went over pretty well I feel like most of them are really really good for this video let's hope it goes as well as that one did <laughs> but before we do that stop what you're doing right now go down below and like this video if you're excited for the video if you like me if you like slime if you just want to like the video because that would be so so cool of you if we can hit 10,000 likes in the first six hours that means that you like the video that you want to see more videos like this while you're down there I didn't know if you noticed when you clicked on this channel but we are at 700,000 subscribers family members thank you so much for that I'm trying to hit that million subscriber goal if you want to help out subscribe to the channel if you're not and if you've already done that definitely go down below turn on post notifications it lets you know when I've uploaded a video because I'm normally hanging out for the first hour or so it'll be down in the comments I try to answer as many as many as many people as I can because I love talking to you guys if you want a chance to be featured in next week's notification shout out by the way these are some of the amazing people who joined the notification fam from the last video thank you guys so much but if you want a chance to be featured in this week's notification shout out all you have to do is hit the bell and then let me know down below with a cute little comment that you did that. I have a bunch of social medias, you should follow them. They're all linked down below. I have my social media of the week linked in my pinned comment as well as a question of the day. Go answer that, go say hi. And if you want to see some new videos, I actually have two new videos up on my Peach Babies YouTube channel linked down below as well. And then I have a new video you guys might not have seen on my second channel. Some of you guys don't even know I have a second channel. It's linked down below as well. Check that out if you haven't. That would be really cool. Other than that, let's get on with the making of the stuff. I don't know what it is yet. I have to pick them out. <laughs> okay, so I did actually already open up my Explore feed. So I already saw one that caught my eye that I know that I have the ingredients for and I know that we can do. And it is so, so cute. Just look at, just how cute is that? It's like a little cookie monster cloud dough. We're gonna get a little bit of blue paint because the cookie monster is really, really blue. You can totally use food gel if you want. I personally don't want to stain my hands. And then we are going to need some googly eyes. I know that the googly eyes that I have, I bought from my goals, I think. I remember buying these cookies for some project and I know I never ever use them, so they've been sitting in a drawer this entire time. This is the perfect way to use them, you guys. Okay, so this is the cloud cream. This is actually very fairy, if you guys didn't know, but I had an extra one, so I decided, you know, have the texture. Why not just mix it into something new? So I'm using some blue acrylic paint. I think this one was called Rock Candy or Grecian Blue. It was one or the other, but I can't remember, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm using just a dark blue paint and then mixing that in bit by bit because you guys know I absolutely hate mixing color into stuff because it always dyes everything and it's just a pain. But it turned out a really, really pretty blue color, so I'm really happy with that. And then I just molded it into a little ball as best I could. These honestly don't mold very well, but I tried, okay. And then we took those little googly eyes. I don't know why, but they wouldn't stop looking kind of I couldn't, I couldn't fix it. And then two And he's done. He looks, okay, I'm not gonna lie. He looks like the really derpy version of the one that we saw. Can you, can you see that? You will be mine. How do you feel about that? <laughs> do you think that this little guy looks like the actual video? I want to know. Genuinely. Be serious. Also, he, he's just so cute. I just can't even. I don't want to squish him. We are gonna find another video. Something that seriously just caught my eye that I'm really, really interested in. I don't know if we would be able to do it. Let's click on this and let's see what this is. We're gonna find out, okay? 
Oh, oh, there's more. Okay, so we're making frosting too. This seems really like, there's a lot of steps here. I'm not sure if I'm really ready, prepared for this. Am I mentally prepared to make this right now? Let's do this. We are going to be making watermelon cupcakes. First is juicing the watermelon. And like I said, I totally don't have watermelon squishies, but I did have chunks of watermelon. And then some flour and sugar. Kind of used cornstarch for both of those. Not sure if that was right, but you know, it does the job. Mix it up, and I will say this is a really pretty color, and it almost identically matches my background. <laughs> so, in the video, she actually puts these in the oven. I'm pretty sure you don't bake them, so I'm gonna say that is just an illusion. I think we're just gonna activate these, and they should be good. I saw somebody put one in a freezer, though. So, for an experiment, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these guys, we're gonna put it in the freezer, come back and see if anything happens. I think she left hers in for two hours. I'll show you at the end of the video. You are gonna stay right next to the ice cream, okay? You have a good time. Do something cool. And we've heated our oven to um, 409 degrees. And we are going to put our slime in. Don't look at those pans, they stay in there. Okay, you cook. You have a good time. And it's done. It's red. Oh, it's not done. I forgot the trick. Okay, so I remembered this time. I took I took the liquidy one out. I'm gonna blow your mind. So it's been about 20 minutes and we're gonna take our slime out. Ooh, looks done. Don't don't look at that one. But let's get on with our recipe. And then for the frosting, I needed some milk or some glue, you know, as you do, some cornstarch or sugar, and then we're gonna mix that all together. I actually added in some shaving cream as well. And then I put it in a piping bag. So we're gonna frost our cupcake. I will say it was a little bit hard to get the frosting off the piping thing, but it looks pretty cute. Okay, so let's scroll through again. What is this? Is this Jack's Films related? Okay, well, I don't think that this is related to Jack's Films, the YouTuber, but I do think it is just this person's name for this specific film, and I guess she's doing it in reverse. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe we can try this one out. Okay, and then for the big boy flum, I used some green beads because I actually just got these. What do you guys think of this color? Definitely let me know. Okay, but I'm not sure how much glue I should be using to make this a full flum. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. And then she double activated it. I think I am just going to activate once. So adding just a tiny bit of activator because I do only have a really strong activator on hand. And then mixing that all together. You guys can kind of tell I definitely did not use enough glue. Yeah, this is a lot harder than I thought it was. Have you guys tried reverse slime making? <laughs> definitely let me know. Did it turn out better than mine? Finally, let's choose one last one. And you guys, we need to go out with a bang on this one. It has to be something really good. Ooh, what is this? Oh, is this one of those videos? Okay, so I saw these videos a while ago where people are putting slime in like piping bags and stuff. So all you're gonna need is a pretty sturdy bag. If you don't have any sturdy plastic bags, you could probably double bag it and it should work out. And then just like a really soft slime. So excited to try this. I've been wanting to try this one forever. So I'm gonna try a few different slimes for piping. I'm not really sure which one is gonna do the best job. So let's just try them out. First, I have last week's secret slime, which is a clear kind of purpley blue base. Overall pretty cute. I definitely feel like I can find something better though. So let's move on. And, ne and next, one that I'm really, really excited to try. This is the Maple Cloud Cream. I have this in the same piping bag ready to go. Let's try this one out. Since this one is a lot thicker, it's definitely holding up a lot better. I will say there's no easy way to get the piping tips to just cleanly let go of what you're piping. You kind of have to snip it off with scissors or something. But overall, I think this one did really well. Look how satisfying this one looks. Plus it holds its shape and everything really, really well. And finally, we have one of my newest slimes, which is actually the Blue Bottle Jelly. This is a new texture that I have that is kind of a jelly base. So it's kind of like an icy. It's still pretty thick like a cloud cream, but it is clear. So definitely let me know down below which piping was you guys' favorite. Mine, hands down, was definitely the Maple Cloud Cream. 
And that was it for the video. Did you guys like it? Did you guys find some cool recipes? Definitely let me know down in the comments. But that was it for the video. I really hope you liked it. I really hope you found it funny. If you have any video ideas or any other things that you'd like to see me do on this channel or on any of the channels, definitely leave them down below. Other than that, like I said before, like the video. It really helps me out. I would appreciate it so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Become part of the X Andrea fam. I don't have a fan name yet. I'm really sorry, you guys. Let me come up with something, please. But join the fam. That would be so, so cool. If you already have joined, don't forget to turn notifications on. But that would be really cool. And if you're a part of the fam, I love you so much. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Other than that, like I said, check out my social medias. If you're in a social media mood, they're all linked down below. And then my favorite social media of the week is linked in my pinned comment. If you want to see more videos, there are a few other videos that I've linked down below on this channel and then on my Peachy Babies channel and my second channel, which is It's Andrea. If you want to go check those out, that would be really cool too. I love you guys very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>